Short Dame the rebound. Surveys. Look at Nurkic rumbling to the cup. Bosnian beast bouncing to the hole. And the Blazers lead it by 18, and Minnesota needs timeout. Blazers win their 10th game against three losses in the month of March. They go to 34 and 38 on the year. They defeat the Minnesota Timberwolves for the second time in as many tries. They are led once again by C.J. McCollum, who scored a career-high 43 in the first matchup of the year between the two teams. C.J. scored 32 points in this one, and he was as sharp, just about as sharp as a guy can be. Did he miss any shots? Barely, barely, and Damian Lillard really got things started. Again, it looked like he was going to get off to a fast start in the game, which he's been doing over the last few weeks. He was three or four early on with three assists, three rebounds, three steals, seven points. And then he said, here, CJ, you take the keys to the car. Go ahead and drive us home. And that's exactly what CJ did in tune to 11 and 13 from the field in 32 points. 32 points on only 13 attempts. That is efficiency. You have Yusuf Nurkic, who was able to add 14 points, nine rebounds. Noah Vonley didn't score the ball the way he's been scoring lately, but he defended at such a high level, battling with Carl Anthony Towns, keeping Towns about eight points below his average. So again, the Blazers finding contributions from multiple guys all up and down the lineup, and that's what you need. First game of a back-to-back, -back, you're able to rest your starters in the fourth quarter. Got to be ready to come out fresh tomorrow against the Lakers. Blazers now one game behind the Denver Nuggets for the eighth and final playoff spot in the West. The Nuggets tomorrow play at home against the Pelicans. So we'll be scoreboard watching tomorrow and seeing you at 6.30 on KGW for the big broadcast. Blazers win it tonight, 112 to 100.